guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be doing a may tbr video so i'm just going to be going through all the books that i want to read for this month okay so these are the books that i have um i definitely have only a few books on my tbr this month just because i've been slacking on reading so much and i haven't been posting or anything just because i haven't been reading so i only have i think i have six books i just have six books that i'm um hoping to get through this month so let's go ahead and go through them all right so the first book that i have is the naturals um i know that this is a series i don't know if it's just called the natural series or what my lips look dry anyway I don't entirely know too much about the series but I know that it's YA and it's kind of like Criminal Minds vibes and I really like the show Criminal Minds. I used to watch it a lot so I think that this will definitely be something that I'll be into. Um, when I went to Barnes & Noble this was, I think this was the only book from the series that I saw. Actually no, I lied. I saw the whole series, I didn't want to get it because okay I got the whole Akatar series but i haven't touched a single one of those books yet so i just decided that i was just gonna get this first book and then if i liked it then i'll probably get the rest of them yeah i'm excited i think this is probably gonna be like the first book that i pick up just because i think i'm in the mood for like mystery thriller vibes and i think YA books are so much easier to read and i want to stay dedicated you know and actually continue reading i think if i start off with a YA book that'll set me up well for the month so hopefully this is a good read and then maybe it'll even make me want to like run to Barnes as soon as I'm done with this one and go grab the rest of the series so I'm very excited to read this one okay the next book that I have I haven't seen anywhere I don't know if it's popular or not honestly I've tried so hard to be on like book talk but I just feel like my for you page just has like funny videos and there's like a few book videos in there but I don't know how to like really get on book talk and just have like my whole feed as book talk videos so i don't know if this is a popular book but i saw this at target today and i just thought the cover was cute and then i read a little bit of the synopsis and i really liked it so i got it okay so the book that i got is the breakup vacation so it's about this girl named grace who is like i think she's basically like caught up on her ex and then her friends are like we should go on a little vacation you know get your mind off things you don't need to be thinking about him but she recommends the place that they should go and it's cancun and her ex josh happens to be in cancun so i think she's like basically playing her friends and then also playing him like she doesn't want anyone to know what's going on so like she's hanging out with her friends but then she's sneaking off to go see her ex and then he doesn't know that she's also there with her friends probably she probably thinks that you know he's just there or not what he probably thinks that she's just there to be with him so i wonder how that's gonna work how is she gonna hide with him away from her friends and vice versa so I don't know if that's like entirely right but that is what i got from the synopsis of the book so i'm very interested to read this and i think the cover is pretty cute i don't know i think majority of the books that i got are like summer vibes right now just because we're in may like summer's approaching i'm ready so you know why not let's get let's get in the summer vibes i say that after i just started off with the naturals which i feel like is like dark and twisted i don't think that's summer at all i don't never mind the next book that I have is a little older um I think I did try to read this book once before and I just didn't I don't know it just didn't take so I am giving it another try okay so the next book that I have is people we meet on vacation by Emily Henry I have beach read and I don't know if you guys actually like watch my videos or anything but if you do shout out to you but if you haven't I have this video and i attempted to read for 24 hours and that book was in there and i just could not get through that book i don't know why maybe i think maybe the like beginning is slow maybe that's what it is and i'm just not someone that can read a book if it starts off slow for me i think i'm just like i need it to be fast paced i need more action going on if not it's gonna slow me down and then i'm gonna be like okay well this is it's not giving you know so definitely i'm hoping that this book is a little more fast paced i'm pretty sure like everyone and their mother knows this book because i feel like it's been on like book talk and definitely has been a hyped up book on booktube as well for years from what i can recall i think this book is about two friends that kind of drifted off and then they end up going on this vacation together and then end up like trying to fix whatever happened between the two of them 
I think that's right. Sounds similar to what I said, so I don't know if that's exactly right, but something along those lines. Speaking of Akitar, which I mentioned like a few minutes ago, um, I have Akitar on my TBR. So this is the next book that I have. This is very ambitious for me. I'm not a thriller, not thriller. I'm not a fantasy girl, so I don't know exactly how this is gonna go, but I do know that this book has been hyped up on TikTok for a while. Just Sarah J Mass in general, like she seems to be an amazing author. She's very much talked about. So I am definitely hoping to get into this book and read it. Um, it's a little over 400 pages, so that's not too bad. But I just think if I can't follow along with the storyline, then it's going to be hard for me to actually finish the book. But I'm going to do my best. I really, really do want to start this series. I only put the first book on there, even though I do have the entire series. But I'm just nervous. I don't want to put the whole thing on my TBR and then I don't read it because then I'll be really disappointed. So I'm just going to start with the first one. Then if I make it through this one, then, you know, give myself a little pat on the back and then we'll move on to the next books. So basically, it sounds like there's this girl who goes into the woods and there's like some like monster that gets her and she's held captive by this beast, but he's like not really a beast. I don't know. I'm wondering if they're gonna fall in love. Is that, I don't know. Is it like a Beauty and the Beast vibe? Is that the vibe of this story? I don't know. Let me know. That's kind of what I'm getting from it. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but I guess we'll see. Okay, sticking with the whole fantasy vibe, I have Six of Crows on my list. Um, I went book shopping with my friend recently and she told me to get this book, so I got it. And since we went book shopping, I haven't picked it up or even like thought about it or looked at it, but I don't know, it was just calling my name. So that sounds weird, I don't know. We are going to attempt to read this book. We'll see how that goes. Honestly, I don't know what these fantasy books are about. Like I just can't really sit down and read the synopsis and understand it. So hopefully I'll just like get into the book itself and I'll actually know what's going on. But I don't know, I'm just hoping that I can keep up with them. So we'll see if I can follow along with the storyline then I think I will enjoy these books. Okay, so I'm on to my last book now. Um, this book is, I haven't seen this book anywhere either. This is something that I just saw at Barnes. I saw this at Barnes and I thought that it would look interesting i read the synopsis of it and i was like this seems like it'd be something that i'd be interested in so we'll see so the last book that i have is three assassins so it's about this man whose wife gets murdered and he's seeking revenge i guess he goes for this lower ranked job and he's just like working with these people just because i think he's trying to you know get revenge for his wife and trying to figure out what is going on behind the scenes because i think the whatever company he's deciding to work for is a front yeah, whatever company he's working for is just a front basically and they're really involved in some criminal activity and I guess they are the people that are responsible for his wife's murder. So yeah, I don't know. It just sounds really interesting. I'm like the mystery thriller aspect. I'm just definitely like thriller, romance, like those are definitely my genres. Those are what interests me. Um, fantasy, it's really we're seeing. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm just definitely experimenting with that. But yeah, that is the last book on my TBR for this month. All right, so those are all my books. Mm -mm. All right, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stick around to find out if I actually read or not. But yeah, hopefully, wish me luck, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.